Hi, thank you for tuning in. I am Ambarish, a Mumbai-based Microsoft Certified Professional, and this video is about the newly launched LET function in Office 365 Excel. As of now, the LET function is rolled out to some of the Office 365 insiders. However, very soon it will be rolled out to the rest of the insiders and subsequently to all Office 365 subscribers. So, let us see what the LET function can do for us. As you can see, I have set up two sheets here. I'll take up two examples to demonstrate the use of this LET function. First would be a very straightforward case of addition. And then once we are okay with the concept of LET function, we can use it along with IF function in the other sheet. And of course, based on the data and the requirement, the LET function can be used along with many other functions in Excel. Okay, so let's get started. I've been given a column of numbers here and I've been asked to add 200, let's say, to all of these numbers and get the answer in the yellow column, column C. Now, this is a pretty basic task in Excel. I'm sure we all know how to add 200 to a, to a bunch of numbers. Some of us would do it manually. Some would take the absolute referencing method. Some would take the partial referencing route. Some would like to use the paste special and use the operation add within the paste special menu. So multiple users will have multiple methods to do this. However, let us see how this can be achieved with the let function. Right. So I start with the equivalent to symbol. I type let tab. It says name one. Now here I have to define some name. Let me define the name as bonus. Right. We all like bonus, don't we? Along with our income or incentives. Right. Now this name bonus is my first argument which is name one and now when i hit the comma it's asking me for name value one which is my second argument so the name bonus is assigned to what well it's assigned to that figure 200 which is to be added to all the numbers in column b comma now the next argument is it's asking me to either perform my calculation now or define another name, name two, like I just defined the name bonus. Now, do I have the requirement here to define another name? No. So I can do my calculation now. My calculation is this cell plus bonus. Well, the bonus means 200, right? So I type BO and that's it. It appears in the drop down. I can just hit tab. And I'm done. That's it. I can now just hit Control Enter, or I can just hit Enter. That's it. Uh, it says that I I prefer hitting Control Enter because then uh, I'm able to stay in the same cell. When you hit Enter, you go one cell down. So Control Enter or Enter, or you may also want to close the parentheses and then hit uh, Enter or Control Enter. But that's all uh, immaterial right now. That's it. I'm done. I can now double click and I've been able to add 200 to all the numbers with this let function. So this is like defining named ranges. Generally, when you want to define named ranges, you write the figure 200 in some external cell, maybe here, and then go to the name box or formulas name manager and assign a name to it. You assign a name to a single cell or a range of cells through the name box or name manager. Well, the let function is allowing us to do the same thing right within the formula itself. That's the beauty of the let function. Well, now that we've understood the basic idea of uh, how the let function works, let's quickly apply it in another data. So I'll change my sheet now. Let's go to the F function sheet. Now this looks as if uh, some um, HR professionals data, 
there are some departments given to us there are uh, some names there are some salary figures given to us and more importantly there is a calculation done in column e and as you can see from the formula bar the calculation says if the department is customer care let's multiply their salary by 10 percent add it to the existing salary and display that figure in column e if it is any other department apart from customer care that is rest of the departments then let's just multiply their salary by five percent and add it to the existing salary and display it in column e this is a very basic if function which we all have done uh, in, some, in some point of our excel work right now let us see how i can do this with the use of this let function so i start with an equivalent to symbol i type let tab now name one right here let us define the name as customer care bonus so cc underscore bonus so like i discussed earlier this is like defining named ranges and when you work with named ranges you do not put space right you put underscore when you want to uh, have two words as a named range so i am defining the name as customer care bonus comma now what should be the calculation associated with customer care bonus so it should be d3 which is the salary plus again d3 multiplied by 10 percent all right so i'm done with my argument 2 which is name value 1 comma excel asks me if i am going to perform my calculation now or is there a second name that i wish to define now in this case there is a second name that i wish to define and that is going to be for the rest of the departments so i'll say other bonus other underscore bonus and what should be the value associated with other bonus it should be d3 and notice here that the case is not important for the cell references like it has been the case in excel for quite some years now d3 plus d3 multiplied by five percent so what i've done so far is i've defined two names then again when i hit comma excel asks me if there is any name three that i would like to define well i don't have a third name that i must define so i can now go ahead with my calculation as it says in that parameter there it says argue it says uh, calculation or name three so i can say if the department is equal to customer care now what should be the display if the department is customer care now in now in normal if function i would use the cell references and add it and then use the multiplication i mean we all know what we generally do right but here since i have already defined the cc bonus as a name i can simply type cc and it appears right there tab comma and what is the bonus to be uh, given if the department is not customer care well that also has been defined here as other bonus so i can type ot tab and that's it so i close all my brackets now oops yep i close all my brackets now i hit control enter or just enter and that's it i can double click and i'm done okay you can tally the answers with the regular if function they're all same that my friends is the use of the let function as you can see in the formula bar now it lets us define name ranges right within the function itself now what is the benefit of doing this do you think there is a benefit of doing this well yes the, there are two benefits as far as i can see it if you write the same expression multiple times in a formula excel is required to calculate that that many number of times but the let function allows you to call that expression by a name so excel will now have to perform that calculation only once and the second benefit is i don't really have to remember this the the cell reference in this case it was d3 but i did not have to remember d3 anywhere in this column f where i have used the let function 
So I hope you've enjoyed the video. I hope you've liked this let function. Thank you for watching. Have a nice one. Jai Hind.